What's going on guys? Welcome back to another one of Huggies Beer Reviews. Today we got a double header, or at least I'm going to try to do a double header, uh, because I got two beers from the Blue Point Brewery in New York. Uh, Blue Point Brewing Company. There's the glass. You know, I always have the matching glass, and that's always courtesy of my buddy Howard. He's hooked me up with so much glassware. Um, Blue Point Brewing Company, Long Island. This glass says World Beer Cup Gold Medal Winner. All right, cool. Howard hooked me up with this glass some time ago, and I still haven't reviewed a Blue Point beer. Matter of fact, up until recently, I hadn't even had a Blue Point beer. Um, I was actually going to review Blue Point's Toasted Lager. And things didn't work out, and I just ended up drinking the beer just to drink the beer. And I'm kind of glad I didn't review it because it kind of sucked ass. Yeah, the toasted lager. It's a Vienna lager. It's kind of like Boston lager, but no, it was too buttery. It was too mild, not enough hops. I didn't like it, and it kind of turned me off. But then here's the funny thing, and this is leading into today's beer, or this video's beer. Um, I went out with my buddy Matt. We went to go have a few beers. Matt um, from Matt's Beer Reviews, uh, Beers and Beards with Matt on YouTube. He's been doing the beer review thing for quite some time too. So he's also in South Florida. We linked up. Um, we went to this place and they had this beer right here. Blue Point's Hoptical Illusion. Check it out. Yeah. They had this beer on tap and I had myself one or two or three of them. And I really liked it. So coincidentally, um, within the same time frame, a week or so, I see it in the store. I say, hey, beautiful, let me do that Blue Point review with that Hoptical Illusion, because you know I love me a good IPA. And this is an IPA, 6.8% alcohol by volume. Hoptical Illusion India Pale Ale. One more time, take a look at it. We're going to do this one now. Um, just to let you know, the Rastafari Ale. That's right, this guy right here. Take a look at that guy. That's the next video. I'll probably upload these uh, within a day or so of each other, something like that. But anyways, uh, I'll get to the story on that one later. But right now, it's all about optical illusion. Punching it up on Beer Advocate like, like I always do. Um, just to give you an idea of what people think of this beer, this is optical illusion. Um, uh, it's categorized as an American IPA, 6.8% again. and. On Beer Advocate, out of 506 reviews, it gets a B plus. Pretty damn good, if you ask me. Um, I checked Blue Point's website. It turns out that this beer is brewed with one select kind of hop. It's a special select hop. They didn't name it on their website, but there's only one hop in this beer. Apparently, it's added five times during the brew process of their IPA but this is going to have a distinctive flavor over other IPAs because it, because it only uses that one select freaking hop, which they didn't name. Okay. Now, I'm not going to save it this time around because I've already saved it, bought the six pack, drank the other three. Um, so I've had this beer before, but you know, just showing you it's a really cool cap with a little uh, optical um, pyramid with the eye logo. Really cool. Anyways. Getting right to it, I'm going to be grilling. If the weather and the sprinklers play nice, the Rastafari Ale Review will be outside, no guarantees, but I will be grilling, that's for sure. So, I love this thing because it's got the little built-in thing right there and you just go, still beer all over the table like an idiot, but oh well. That sucks, I hate spilling beer, but anyways, into the Blue Point glass. And you know, my loyal viewers might say, hey, an IPA, you're not using that damned, uh, that damned hand-blown IPA goblet you always use. What can I do? I wanted to use the glass. And I got beer on my table. Now I understand why Joe D always has a towel ready when he does his beer reviews, because yeah, sometimes you do make a mess. It's going to have to sit there for a while. I'm not getting up. All right, on to the beer. Let me turn it a little sideways. See if you can make that out. You know, the color is never the same on camera as it is in person. This is a light golden color. I mean, this is, this is almost Heineken color, okay? This is clear, crystal clear, and it's like a light golden, light golden. I mean, this is like, um, this is like, like 24 karat gold, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's not 18, it's 24, yeah, all right. So, I mean, it looks good. It's a nice color. 
That's going to let you know it's not going to be too malty. Usually that's how that works. The head, not a lot of head to begin with. It's not the best looking head on an IPA. Bubbles are kind of big, a little bit fizzy, but I can forgive them. Um, a lot of active little carbonation, little bubbles rising up. Yeah. It looks good though. And the smell, the hop note on this beer, and I noticed at the times I've had it before, it, it is distinct. It's not the most complex hop smell, hop flavor, but it is distinct. It's not something you're used to. I don't know much about that, you know, select um, kind of hop that they use, but it is a little different. It's not what we're used to tasting in IPAs. It is citrusy, citrusy and floral. And you get that right away with kind of like a, a, a smooth undercurrent of malt, and that's just the nose. But it's kind of like a, a sweet citrusy floral kind of combo thing. So, time to just dive right in. While not the greatest IPA, it's a good IPA. And a little bit of, of like fizz from the carbonation, right? And the hop bitterness just hits you up front. It gets you, it bites you. But it's not like overwhelmingly bitterly hoppy. It's like a citrusy bite, a citrusy hint of resiny, hint of florally, right? I mean, it's good. And then the middle is very smooth. It's a very, I don't want to call it light body, but it's, it's, it's more light than medium, I'll tell you that much. Uh, smooth across the middle, you know, a little more carbonation fizz, but it's really refreshing. And then the finish, again, more hot bitterness, you know, almost a grapefruity, kind of a lemon zesty kind of thing, floral hint of resin, just kind of that, you know, residual resinous, hoppy, oily bitterness on the way down. And that's it. Not the strongest aftertaste, not the strongest flavor overall, but still a pretty tasty IPA. Um, I would buy this often if it was, if it was consistently available to me. Um, it's 6.8%. A lot of your IPAs, your Sierra Torpedo, your Avery, your Stone, they're all 7.5, you know, over 7%, 6.8. So if you want to have, you know, two, three, four, without, um, you know, getting a little too drunk, um, it might be good for you. But I mean, it's, it's not the greatest IPA, but that Select Hop does give it a distinct flavor. It's well put together, not the best, but good. This is a strong glass half full. And by strong glass half full, I mean, it's, it's not, you know, it's not one of those, because I'll say it's a glass half full, gla I'll say it's a glass half full, approaching full. You know, sometimes when it's better, you know. It's kind of like when your, uh, your gas tank is between three quarters and full, you know, it's like an eighth under. You get my point. This is solidly at a glass half full. It's tasty, it's solid, but there are better out there. So try it for yourself if you're an IPA fan. Let me know what you think. I'm going to finish this, get the grill going, and see if we can get some Rastafari ale. That'll be up next. Regardless, stay tuned because the video is coming, and I'm going to go drink me a hot illusion. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.